Hello friends, welcome back to our kitchen. Today we are making molasses cookies from very simple ingredients. And so we have some rolled oats which have grinded and have the texture as quick oats. You can use quick oats instead or you can use, even use flour, wheat flour. Here I'm using roasted ground nuts. You can use walnuts, pecans. Here we have apple sauce. We have some honey there to add sweetness. And our main ingredient, which is the black strap molasses with a very rich dark color. And here we have ginger powder and Himalayan salt. And lastly, we have psyllium husks. Very good for your colon. And here we have a food processor which we will need to process the dry ingredients to flour. I'll be beginning with adding the ground nuts into the food processor, followed by the psyllium husks. I'm following this with ginger and Himalayan salt. Then lastly, I'll add uh, three quarters of the oats. I'll write the exact ingredients in the description box below, so follow. So we'll process this and this is how it's looking. It has become more of like flour. The groundnuts have uh, been grinded. We'll just keep it aside for a little while. And here we are mixing our wet ingredients. So I'm adding my apple sauce. I'm following this with the honey. Um, honey will be Give the sweetness you can use brown sugar or even dissolved jaggery next we have our main ingredient which is the black strap molasses with a very rich dark color very rich in iron very rich in potassium I mean it's also good for your face by the way anyway so mix this very well evenly until the color is even and once this is done We'll slowly add our dry ingredients. So a little portion at a time as you fold in to mix with the wet ingredients. So bit by bit, bit by bit, you'll be adding. You are looking forward to a texture that looks like that of a chapati dough or or mandazi dough I'm, you know what I mean guys so yes this is how you mix and I think I have achieved it it is not so compact but after some time it will be compact because of the oats it will suck the water and so I've brought my baking tray with some parchment paper I'm using an ice cream scoop to shape you can use a spoon so my ice cream scoop is very big, so it is removing very big cookies. Um, you can use a spoon to shape them. So what I did, I just uh, put them there and I flattened them in order to make them a little bit um, thin. When you're flattening, put some water on the tool you're using so that it does not stick. I realized mine was sticking a lot yeah and meanwhile you preheat your oven to a temperature of 170 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit and this will be going to the oven for 25 minutes and guys here we are very simple very chewy very sweet and nutritious Remember when you're eating this, eat this to the glory of God. Also remember to be a channel of light wherever the Lord has blessed you. Have a blessed day. Bye.